Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be answering the question, what is a subtended angle? You'll hear about subtended angles a lot, usually when you start to work closely with circles. So I figured a quick video introducing what they are would be helpful. So let's get right into the lesson. Let me draw for you a line segment. Here's a line segment. We'll say that this is the line segment A, B. It goes from the point A to the point B. Then we can start to consider angles that are subtended by this line segment. So what does that mean? Well, let's say we have a vertex right here. We'll call this vertex X. Then the angles subtended by the line segment AB from the vertex X is the angle whose vertex is X and whose rays pass through the endpoints of the line segment AB. So I'm drawing that angle now. This is a subtended angle. More specifically, it's the angle subtended by the line segment AB from the vertex X, which again means that its vertex is at the point X and its rays pass through the endpoints of the line segment AB. So that's neat. That's an example of one subtended angle. And of course, we could have a subtended angle with a vertex over here as well. Let's say this vertex is Y. Then the angle subtended by the line segment AB from the vertex Y is the angle whose vertex is at Y and whose rays, again, pass through the endpoints of the line segment AB. So that looks something like this. So these are two examples of subtended angles. They have different vertices, but they are both subtended by the same line segment, which means that their rays both pass through the endpoints of that line segment. So angles can be subtended by line segments, but they can also be subtended by arcs or curves. And in those cases, just like in this one, an angle subtended by some object is an angle whose rays pass through the endpoints of that object. Now let's look at one more example on this diagram. We could draw an arc from the point X to the point Y, something like that. Then we could consider angles subtended by this arc. For example, we could look at the angle subtended by the arc XY from the vertex A. So its vertex is at A and its rays pass through the endpoints of the arc XY. And so it looks something like that. So that's an example of an angle subtended by an arc. I think it's pretty neat. Now before we go, let's quickly touch on one of the common use cases for subtended angles. Oftentimes, subtended angles come up in discussions of circles. For example, we might have a chord of the circle, something like that. Remember that a chord of a circle is a line segment whose endpoints both lie on the circle. Then we often want to know the measure of the angle subtended by this chord whose vertex is the center of the circle. So that's the measure of this angle here. In fact, if you know the measure of this angle and the measure of the circle's radius, then you can find the length of this blue line segment. So subtended angles come up a lot in discussions of circles. And oftentimes what we're interested in is a subtended angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. An object like this line segment here can have many subtended angles with different vertices. So looking back at our circle, we could also have an angle subtended by this chord whose vertex is out here. And that is still an angle subtended by this blue chord. And with both of these subtended angles, we could also say that they are subtended by this arc rather than this chord because the arc and the chord have the same endpoints. But with that said, I just wanted to get across that you have to be a little bit careful when you're talking about subtended angles and circles. Because a subtended angle doesn't necessarily have to have a vertex in the center of a circle. But oftentimes, when you're talking about circles, you're supposed to assume that the subtended angle does have a vertex in the center of the circle, just based on the context of the problem. So just be careful. And one last time, an angle that is subtended by an object, usually a line segment or an arc, is an angle whose rays pass through the endpoints of that object. Like this purple angle here that is subtended by this line segment, or we could also say that it's subtended by this arc. Its rays pass through the endpoints of the segment and the arc. 
And one last thing, an angle that is subtended by an arc in a circle whose vertex is the center of the circle, this type of angle is called a central angle. So we could refer to this green angle more specifically as the central angle subtended by this black arc here. It being a central angle tells us that its vertex has to be the center of the circle. So not every subtended angle is a central angle, but every central angle is a subtended angle. As a further example, our purple angle out here is subtended by this same black arc, but its vertex is not the center of the circle, so it's not a central angle. But that'll do it for today, so I hope this video helped you understand what subtended angles are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. I got teeth behind my eyes Tear the flesh from what is sacred In my dreams I never die